Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days Designs. I'm back today with another fun project for you. Today, it's Christmas ornament time. Not to hang on your tree, but to use on your table. It's a snack mat, mini placemat, mug rug we're making today. We're making a pocket for a reversible napkin with it, and we're making the napkin. Yep, all part of today's project. Before it gets started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my Etsy shop, Deb's Days Designs. That's where you'll find the written version of this project, with the cutting measurements, step-by-step -step directions, photos, and a link back to this tutorial. And with this project's pattern, you'll also get the printable templates. Alright, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies for this project, you'll need fabric scraps for your applique, a front fabric piece, two pocket fabric pieces, a backing fabric, some fabric for your napkin, and some batting, some paper-backed fusible web. You'll also need some basting spray or basting powder if you have it. Also, the printable templates. If you don't have the pattern and you want to pick it up, I've added a link in the description below this video. First, we're going to trace the individual parts of the design onto the paper side of the fusible web. These first few steps are exactly how we did it with our Santa pot holder project. Then cut out each piece about a quarter inch outside that trace line. Following the instructions on your packaging, fuse the pieces to the wrong side of the appropriate colors of fabrics. Now we'll cut those pieces out along those traced lines. Remove the paper backing of your fusible web and center and arrange the applique pieces on the front of that front piece of fabric. When all pieces have been assembled, fuse it into place with your iron. Then finish by stitching around the raw edges of those fabric pieces with whatever stitch you'd like. A blanket stitch, a zigzag stitch, satin stitch, straight stitches. I like to try out different stitch lengths and widths on some fabric scraps before I start working on the applique piece. Now to assemble the snack mat, we're going to work with the pocket pieces first. With the wrong sides facing each other, fold one of the pieces of the pocket fabric in half and press it. Top stitch an eighth of an inch from that pressed crease. Place the folded piece of pocket fabric on top of the applique piece with the raw edges matching on the bottom right hand side. Then place your other pocket piece on top with the right side of the fabric facing down. Align those raw edges on the right side, top, and bottom. And use fabric clips or pins to hold it all in place. Stitch down the right side of the fabric using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now press your seam towards the applique piece. Now place your backing fabric with the wrong side facing up and add your batting on top. And center the front fabric on top of that. Temporarily secure all your layers together with a basting spray or powder if you need to, and quilt it as desired. Now don't sew the pocket closed. Without cutting into the backing fabric, trim the batting piece to match the front of the snack mat. Then trim the backing so it measures one inch all the way around the snack mat. Now to create the binding, we're going to fold over the backing to make the binding. So fold the backing over so the raw edge meets near the raw edge of the front and press it. Fold the backing over one more time so it then becomes the binding on the front and press it. Work your way around all the sides and use fabric clips to hold it in place as you go. Then top stitch around the entire snack mat near that open edge of the binding to close it. Now if you'd prefer to miter your corners, measure one inch away from each of the corners and mark it. Then draw a straight line to connect those marks and cut on the line. Then fold the raw edge corner over the corner of the batting and front fabric and press it. Fold one of the sides so the raw edge of the fabric meets the raw edge of the batting and press it. Fold the backing over one more time so it becomes the binding on the front and press it. Then work on the other side. Fold it in so the raw edge meets near the raw edge of the batting and front piece and press it. And then fold the backing fabric over one more time and press it to get your mitered corners. 
Now for the napkin, place one of the fabrics with the right side of the fabric facing up and place the contrasting fabric on top with the right side facing down. Stitch the fabrics together using a quarter inch seam allowance and leaving a space open for turning. Clip the corners and turn it right side out. Press it and fold under the opening and press it to form a sharp crease. Top stitch around the entire piece an eighth of an inch from the edge. Fold your napkin into thirds, stick it in the pocket, and you are ready to go. See you next time with another project.